Companies across the country are raising employees' desks and ditching traditional workspaces. We've got a standing desk right here in the newsroom. They're so popular, the White House wants $700,000 to buy standing desks for presidential staff. But now the trend is moving from the office to the classroom. Maria Villarreal went to a Northern California elementary school that will soon be the first in the country to have standing desks everywhere. We're going to lunch down. At Vallecito Elementary School in San Rafael, California. Our hands are here, my friends. Motivating students to move is more than just their morning routine. It's an all-day commitment that starts with these standing desks. It gets your legs working so you're not like, oh, I can't move because you get stiff. Their favorite feature is the aptly named fidget bar. How does it help you focus? It burns off lots of my energy so I can re concentrate without wiggling around like in the chairs. 19 of Alicito's 22 classrooms have standing desks. The last three will be converted by the end of the year. I'm so excited for them and I'm thrilled that we found a way uh, to make them more excited about school. Principal Tracy Smith says initially students got tired from standing all day, but within a few months they were more focused, confident, and productive in the classroom. To not see those kids sitting still, right. is it difficult for the teachers? I think it's taken some adjustment on their part to get used to seeing the movement. If you really understand the purpose behind the movement, which I believe my teachers do, then they're 100% behind it. Studies show allowing kids to move during the day can improve grades up to 15 percent and helps kids burn up to 25 percent more calories. Dr. Stephen Middleman says there isn't data on the long-term effects of kids using standing desks, but the physical benefits are immediate. You increase your muscle tone in your legs. There seems to be um, an improvement in actually circulation and arterial function. And of course, expending uh, a few calories extra every hour uh, can lead to big changes. But those big changes can come with a big price tag. It can cost up to $6,000 to convert a single classroom. That's why some schools are experimenting with other alternatives like yoga balls to increase core stability, exercise bikes for read and ride programs, or bands like these to keep kids active. We definitely have our work cut out for us in terms of getting donations and funding for this. Juliet Starrett, who started the program at Vallecito, hopes to keep her movement going, and she won't let costs get in the way. Our mission is to get every kid in public school standing in 10 years. She started Stand Up Kids, an organization working with corporate and individual donors to raise money. Her goal? A $1 million fund that would help teachers who apply for grant money to transform their classrooms. That's my ultimate goal, though, is to have the federal government take notice. So at least at a minimum, when a new school is built, it's just a given that standing desks are going to be the norm. And while it may take time to catch on around the country, these kids are proud to be taking a stand. And the thing for too long is the, is the new smoking. For CBS This Morning, Mireya Villarreal, San Rafael, California. Mireya Villarreal, I like how she says her name. I think that little swinging bar is nice for the kids to have. I missed it. I was walking back. Oh. <laughs> Anthony, Anthony, I think that little swinging bar that I the kids so have is I think so too. I'd still really like nice. a stool, personally. Yeah, a little stool. But I do think standing someday. is a great idea. <laughs> yeah. I do too. But they really look forward to lunch. Yeah, I think, I think it's a really good <laughs> yeah. idea too. Something to think about.